Look at who the second person is coming in. See, there's Hendrickson, 91. There's your second player, Oaken Joby. Tristan Wirfs, the young tackle against Cameron Jordan, the tremendous veteran, and Jordan did get... Backside, they needed a big play, and they're able to come up with it between those two players. This one's going to be close. We're sitting here thinking that we haven't said Joey Bosa's name, and here he comes. As Mahomes pulls it back in, Bosa gets a hold of it. The arm, maybe. Look at Avery on the edge right here. Get a quick jump. Oh, oh, oh. Kev, you can't get any close. But you got safety help there. But here they come. And boy this season for Denver as he's worked through the injuries. And look at him, avoid Jonah Williams and come back inside. To in, and you get a guy the size of Taysom Hill, a quarterback, and you get all those guys behind pushing? I mean, this is huge for them. Bosa here is going to shed the block of McCary, McGarry and, and be able to make the tackle. C-48, those eyes, he just breaks all this up and goes in and tries to grab everybody. That's possibly standing there as we get a little no huddle cup. Vada was shot out of a cannon. Blows right by John Miller. John Miller had no chance. By the tight end, 86. He gets out of his stance late. Ferkser, and he actually hurts the tackle. Gives it in with the turnover for San Francisco. Ryan steps up, but just not enough to get away from Bosa. You're going to see Watt on the other side come in right there. I mean, he was literally getting held, but Hayward pushed through the middle. And they blocked the edge well here. And like you said, here comes Filer, 71. And he takes out Sorensen. Eckler gets in behind it. One pressure. No sacks, no hits. One pressure in the last five games. And so far, Cameron oh. Jordan is putting on a clinic. Loses the ball. Another big play by Kareem. First down, Denver. Foos continues to talk about we need to get rush with our front four. You're going to see the inside move here. They can line up the Forrest Buckner at all different spots. He can line up on the nose. He can line up on the guard. And that time he lines up over the left tackle. Isaiah Wynn. F.A. Abada just having a whale of a time down at the bottom. Now going up against Cam Irving. Able to turn the corner. He just gets there so quick. Jason Pierre-Paul, you know that name well. You know him as a pass rusher. Hasn't had a great year this year because they're going to put Jordan on the inside, which means he is not blocked by Tristan Wirfs. He's dropped, blocked by Alex Kappa, the guard. And on the other side, Davenport's going to get there as well. So many times. Mason Cole has no shot against Akeem Hicks when he gets his hands on him. You see him right there. You see how long his reach is. He just basically punches. There he is. Garrisaw right here and Quinn from the outside, Lewis. It's just straight power. Look, Robert Quinn, look, he's really knocking on the door of breaking Richard Dent, the great Richard Dent, the Hall of Famers. Scrimmage and go outside of 56 to Mario Davis, and yet it was Davenport the one that... Wearing Garrisaw out, Lewis. Yeah, I mean, it's just ridiculous how he can run the hoop. That right there looks like the drill they do with the... Watt setting the edge. And that's the, that's the thing. If you have Sue, you get the speed to get inside of a backup tackle in Jordan Mills. You've been doing that for a long, long time, but you can. You should not be able to get up this fast across the line of scrimmage. Watch him use his speed to go right around Mason Cole and almost takes off the head of Kirk Cousins. And right here, you're going to see him right here just get penetration and get lockout on Mason Cole and just control him. When you get your arms extended like that as a defense. But this is the problem. You see him over the right guard, right in the middle of that defensive line. He just feels that screen. Right, you could see the soft green grass behind it if they could have gotten by Aaron Donald. But that's why this guy is the best defensive player in the game. Boom, there's Fletch working the game off the edge and just pulls him down. That'll end it right there. But watch. He got a grip on him. And wouldn't let him go. Look at that. So so watch Hendrickson because you have to wonder why is he back there? It's because this was called a zone blitz. They felt they blitzed Jermaine Pratt number 57. And watch him right here. Apply the pressure that eventually gets to 
Gilbert. Boom. Him and Fletcher Cox just sandwich. Garrett Gilbert. It was the other side, right? It was Whitworth earlier. This time it is the backup. It is Bobby Evans. And this is the hat trick. I mean, this is all three of them, and he's done in different ways. This is just splitting the double team. Posick and Lewis slide. You got a two on one. And that's one, once again that leverage. Six foot, 280. He splits them. He's underneath them, and he's so dynamic. He brings Russell down. Now, if he keeps that up, expect to see Huntley keep it because they've got to keep him playing honest as that Andrew Whitworth in a one on one situation right here. Whitworth having again a phenomenal season. But Dunlap, a six sacks a season ago, Chris. To chew up big yards. Look at watch Kels. They'll double team here. And look at this huge hole that gets opened up. Lane Johnson. He's boxing guy. Look at this is Carl Granderson, who really does make flashy plays on the defensive side of the ball. But then it's going to be cleaned up by Chauncey Gardner Johnson, who is who just makes a terrific move. Comes right off of that blind side, gets the ball out of Wilson's hand. Watch this athlete. I can remember going to the Bucks practice and going, who is that? <laughs> he is tall, he is lean, he is fast, and he just ran down. Boy, Teron Jackson, the rookie from Coastal Carolina. What a play. Look at him knife through the offensive line. This is hard. Look at this center has to go all the way around to the edge. And watch him. He's flying, picking up bodies on the way. This is why you brought Gabe Jackson here and gave him a big deal for this matchup. We watched Damian Lewis on the other side, right? A little bit lighter than Gabe, not as much experience, still a young player. And watch the old line blow this thing open right in front of Sanders right there. Opeta on the move, Mylotta, and look at Jason Kelsey. All the way down the field. You're going to see the pressure come off the edge here. The fifth defender. And Carlos Dunlap just wins right off the jump. Bobby Evans. But here come the big pullers in front of him. Look at him hide behind those guys. He's not a huge guy, so he can hide for a second. Watch this part of the line and watch the blocking you end up getting downfield. Look at that. You got a double there and a nice job by Tyler Boyd, the wide receiver. Well, this is a tough one on Dwayne Brown. The left tackle 76 because this is a hitch, a hitch, and Russell's trying to step up and throw, but as good as the rush was, the coverage on the back end was better. There was nowhere. Excellent athleticism on the part of DJ Wanham. Watch him here as he starts to move down the line of scrimmage. Cole Komet tries to pin him inside and watch him get back out, take a great angle to cut Justin Fields off and get the sack. Michael Pierce is a big, big man at six foot, 340 pounds. And you see there, if he can control the middle like that. You can see right here, Dave, right here, gets the penetration up the middle, forces him to go lateral. And there you have the cleanup from Jackson. Sacking the quarterback, five sacks in his last two games. And right there, just setting the edge. Nowhere to go, and just kind of one-hands it. We talk a lot about situational football and Nick Mullins getting thrown in there at the last minute only one day of practice you wonder how many red zone opportunities he got did he even get to run a red zone seven on seven this week on a third and long situation you have to believe that both coaches say coming into this game got some of the issues right side of the line Quinn Miners number 77 Bobby Massey 70 he comes up and then Mercedes Lewis he leads the way so you've got the collapse by Nyman, and there goes Mercedes Lewis. To watch Fred Johnson sit in for Riley Reef. And there comes Jonathan Cooper out of Ohio State. Well, Matt Ryan was able to stay clean a week ago, wasn't sacked. And you had the outside guys, the edge guys, Hendrickson and Hubbard wanting to meet at the quarterback, but they forced him to step up. And Pratt won his battle inside. Yeah, well, you're going to run a little game out here and, and over here. And I'm telling you what, they just got him coming all over the place. Jake from This old line is creating huge holes. Reynolds doing the rest. 22 carries, 102 yards for Craig Reynolds. The young man out of Kunsttown. 
Just coming off the edge right here, Lorenzo Carter. Nice turning in as soon as he gets to the depth of the quarterback. Turn back into the offensive tackle, squeeze, and then. Second round pick out of Wake Forest. Yeah, and this is the complimentary football. You see that they had nothing really going down the middle of the field, and Cam Newton felt that pressure just come too fast. Green pass, so they're going to let all the defensive linemen come flying in. And then you got to throw that, and the problem is it took a long time to defend. Set the edge. Just come down here. Make sure you set it. Send it back inside. Back I just field. want you to look at everybody across the board here, right? They've got everybody lined up. I love it when they pull extra offensive linemen in there right there. McGovern leading the way. Ben did not think there was a blitz coming, and so what happens, it's a handoff, Jim. He has the ability to throw it or hand it off. Well, this is a play they call duo, so you're getting double teams all the way across here, but Booker reads the inside sink by the safety and the outside linebacker toward that left-hand side where those double teams were, and he just breaks it to the outside. Devontae Booker just does everything. And your best is Zach Martin. You're going to roll around here off this draw. You see him, bam, right there inside Ante Crowder. Defense here for Miami, especially since the midpoint of the season, but that offensive line on that play led by Connor McGovern to set. Watch the top right up there, Jim. You have a touchdown to Julio on the first play, but of course, he doesn't get time. Speaking of Hassan Reg, look who gets right around the corner and Yutur Grossmata. He's been doing a phenomenal job. They love putting him in. You see they come in, they bring in the jumbo. We saw it so much last week. This is just traditional power. This is one of the few significant holes we've seen Stevenson have the chance. But look at Andrew Sandejo. Comes from his deep safety spot and just sticks him. But good coverage on the back end by the Browns. Yeah, Wise gets the sack, but look at the pressure initially that Matthew Judon gets on Carson Wentz. This is what gets him off his spot. Look, he's got to shuffle up. He gets his right hand on him. He stays alive enough. Then Wise is there to kind of finish him off. Matthew Judon was the star of this free agency class. You touched on it before. It seemed like they spent a billion dollars in free agency this year. This Colts, this Colts defensive line, they understand a lot of this game is going to be on their shoulders. We've seen penetration. We've seen guys running through. I mean, look how many guys. What Matt Eberflus tell us, KB, we need seven guys in the frame of the picture. Just a good job up front. They have really gotten behind this offensive line. I go back to it. And they miss Chris Jones, the Kansas City Chiefs do. Could he have stopped with the bleeding and what's happening right now? I don't know, but he would have helped. Because right now, Joe Lombard, number 72. And the push that he gets then on the double team. And when you get that kind of movement up front, you can bet there's going to be some holes and places for these running backs to run. What a job this offensive line has done tonight. He crashes in here, and you're going to see Joe Tooney, who's had an outstanding year. He's not anticipating that kind of move, but that's what blew it all up right there in the middle.